I've been running most of my life, sometimes without even knowing why. But once in a while, I come to a stop. But when I do, questions are popping up. What are we? Where are we heading? We are taking this to a new perspective when we talk about the Romanian capital market. I'm Florin Ceporaga, your host of the 724 Capital Show, where we talk about people, money, stocks, and values like no one has ever done it before. We are going to talk about a new perspective on the Romanian capital market and who's better to talk to other than Ludwig Sobolewski, the CEO of BVB. Hi Ludwig, how are Salut. you? Salut, Salut, <laughs> I'm well, fine, thank you. <laughs> fine, thank you. When, when you look at the, the Romanian capital market, where do you see it now? Florin, you are Caldura in Bucharest. <laughs> and, and the market is also hot. So we have new companies selling shares, which is a new phenomenon. It's great. We had a transaction in December, as you remember, yes. MedLife. We had a much larger one in the beginning of May. But there is also a good thing that small companies, mm -hmm. now they choosing Bucharest Stock Exchange as the place for listing. Shareholders choose this market as the place for selling the shares. And uh, it's very pleasant, you know, because we had a forum for individual investors in November <laughs> last yes. year. We invited two companies. I mean, two private companies, not listed ones, to make presentations to individual investors because they were thinking about to become public companies. And since that time, we have already one, which is listed, Edges. Mm -hmm. They sold the shares for around 1.2 million euro. So it shows that the, 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 the stock exchange, the stock market, in Romania becomes something attractive for small, medium and larger enterprises. And I think I'm saying this for the first time in our chapter de Ozeci Patru Capital. Vom avea companie nouă dintre cele două care s-au prezentat în noiembrie. Broker Transilvania de Asigurar, who didn't know an IPO. We have announced it here for, for the very first time uh, that we expect a new company to the market. Do we also expect uh, new products coming to the BVB? New products for the Bucharest Law Exchange means not only shares, as we say, equities. This is also other classes of instruments. Mm -hmm. And uh, here I have to say another reason to feel a great satisfaction because one of the leading banks operating in Romania decided to launch warrants. Ah. Warrants, you know, this is a very interesting in instrument. I feel all the time that we are not doing enough in order to educate people how good it may be for investors. Why? Why will it be good? What will they because, do? Because, you know, this is something that allows you to invest very small money yeah. and to get a very good income mm -hmm. and your risk is very limited. I mean, yes, you can lose this small amount of money, especially small when compared to the price of the shares because warrant, a warrant is something which is based on the shares. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to buy the shares. shares you, don't have the, you, don't, yeah. you are not paying the price. Mm -hmm. of the share, but you are paying a fraction of this, of this price. And uh, this great satisfaction, by the way, I never explained to anybody what is a warrant when running. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we are really developing. We are developing, yeah. So, so, so this is great that this, you know, um, bank, leading financial institution in, the, in our market, Raiffeisen, mm -hmm. Central Bank, so from Vienna, they decided to launch warrants that will be based on the shares of the Bucharest Stock Exchange. There are many institutions and investors now looking at uh, Romanian capital market and at us, uh, the market operator, mm -hmm. because of course 
if we go further up, if we will uh, also get this upgrade to the emerging market, then of course all these good things will be reflected in the, let's say, financial robustness mm -hmm. of the Bucharest Stock Exchange itself, which is a listed company. Mm -hmm. So two good news, I would say, very recently, yes. this, this uh, Transylvanian broker, because it shows a continuity and a coherence. Mm -hmm. So I think that this is a new normal, continuity and coherence. Not that we have something once per five years, mm -hmm. but there is a there is a succession of events. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these warrants, which based strictly on the shares of BVB, it is a very good sign of this growing interest around the, around, uh, the Romanian capital market. So mm -hmm. generally, you know, also looking at what we are doing right now, we are building a sort of financial highway <laughs> yeah. for money that will be flowing and flowing into this investment territory probably faster than what we are doing now <laughs> definitely considering that next year Romania is going to celebrate 100 years from um, from its great union where do you see the market by by the time you know when I hear what you are saying I think immediately that uh, capital markets has this force also to be uh, uniting factor mm -hmm. for societies so it is in a sense for uh, not accidental that developed societies have strong capital markets because this is something which uh, strengthens the intellectual capital mm -hmm. uh, financial education awareness in a sense it strengthens the democracy mm -hmm. So I think that this would be really a really fantastic change for Romania. If for this anniversary we could be, we would be capable of saying we have a national stock exchange and a national capital market with all these values. So it's not only these flows of money, but also this, I would say, enhanced culture mm -hmm. and awareness in the country. It's very important, especially in this very competitive Europe, to have Precisely. this sort of common denominator between people who live, work, cooperate together mm -hmm. on a territory. So uh, this, this is actually the goal. I mean, the, the process has already started. I'm not saying about something which is illusional, a, a dream that maybe sometimes uh, will happen but we are already in the course of this process. And, and uh, 2018, yeah. beautiful year. It can be done. To have an important stage within this process completed. But it's not about BVB alone, right? Huh. It's about what other, what other people and institutions should, should be doing to, to reach this promotion to the emerging, emerging market status, right? You know, I also feel that we managed to build partnerships mm. and this is of course extremely important because we need a cluster of competences we need a, a group of important systemically important institutions working together mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of our accomplishments when we are changing the, the the technology when we are changing corporate governance rules uh, almost half of our projects in the domain of financial education. We do it with our partners. And uh, I think that this is also a new quality, extremely important. And yes, of course, you are absolutely right. I mean, uh, one single entity, even that meaningful as stock exchanges normally are, would not be capable to, to, to initiate this tremendous process, which is currently occurring. So this great union anniversary has a chance to be the celebration for the for the entire community of the of investors, of entrepreneurs who as we said now understand mm -hmm. what is the stock exchange for. Ludwig, I see the finish line over there. Shall we sprint it? Sigur.
It was cool. good. That was fast. Yeah. That was a sprint. Alluding to the Capital Market? I don't know, you tell me. More often we have to do something like 10Ks, semi-marathon, yeah. or even a marathon. Quick wins are quite rare. Do happen, but they are quite rare. Work, work, work. This is a valuable lesson. I hope so. Thank you very much, Thanks. Lawrence. Thank you. Some say life is a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're gonna get. It might be so, but somehow along the way, I've learned that you can make your own chocolate. This is Florin Ceparaga, your host of the 724 Capital Show, where we talk about people, money, stocks, and values like no one has ever done it before.